Good morning, Floss Tube. Happy March. Uh, my name is Helen D. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, today is March 2nd. The winds here in Maine are howling outside today. They said that this was actually the coldest day we've had all winter. Um, I think it's like above freezing. It's 11 degrees. Uh, but the wind chill apparently today makes it feel like negative 15. So I'll be inside. <laughs> um, Drop my son off at school this morning and they have to go in like this side door. And there's all these kids milling around. Um, the door wasn't open. Trust me, we were not early. We're never early. <laughs> um, door wasn't open and I'm like of all days for them to be running a little late getting the door open. These kids must be freezing because you know teens and preteens i didn't see anyone in shorts but no one was really dressed for winter so it's been a couple weeks since my last video um i have a few things to show um life wise just more of the same when i made my last video we were on school vacation so not a whole lot got done that week then last week we went back to school, so all the stuff that didn't get done over vacation had to get done last week. Um, and now I feel like we're kind of caught up. I'm hoping to do some finishing today because I have no finishes to show you this week. They just didn't happen. Um, so I wanted to start out with my little freebie. So I showed you this in my last video. Um, this is just something I came up with. I am not a designer. My designs are very simple. <laughs> so I had put this out as a freebie a couple weeks ago. And people, you like me, you really like me. <laughs> um, I've seen quite a few people stitch this up and it's been so fun. I've been tagged on Instagram in different finishes. Um, and it's been so fun to see everyone do it different. Cause like I said, this is very, simple. I happen to do mine in a variegated, it's 405, 4045 um, DMC. So there's a little variegation. And then I did the O in gold, in gold, on a, in a Krynik. I've seen it on shamrock fabric. I've seen it in bright fun colors. I, people have added some clovers on it. Like it's been so cool to see what people have done. Um, Becca Sambri Stitches was the first one I saw that did rainbows in the colors of the rainbow. I'm like, well, she's genius. And I told her, I'm stealing that idea. <laughs> so uh, it's been really cool. And thank you guys so much for all, all the love for my little leprechaun piece. Um, it seems it's all spelled correctly. So I have a new one for you. <laughs> I really was glad that people liked it because doing something like that is a way for me to say thank you like i can do giveaways but if i do two charts only two people win something like that is available to everyone and it might not be your style you might not decorate for saint patrick's day um but then if i come up with something else for a different holiday or a different time of year that one might strike your fancy so i was really glad that people liked it um I liked just having something I did in my decor because like I said, I'm not a designer. It's not going to be fancy, um, but it's little and cute. And if anyone was ever like, oh, who did that one? I could say, I did. That's if anyone ever comes to my house again. <laughs> the housework around here has taken a nosedive in the past year. Um, when we used to have the Stitchy Group meet here, that's the cleanest my house would be and I could get everyone to help like my son would help pick up my husband would help with vacuuming like it cleaned once a month cleaned ladies ladies you need to come back my house needs you to come back <laughs> so so I do have another little freebie this week um but it's not fully finished I actually just start finished stitching it this morning with my coffee I wanted to get it done so that it's Easter and Easter's early this year, so I thought if people actually want to stitch it, I don't want to wait two more weeks. So here it is. I don't have anything to put behind it today. Here we go. Here it is. So this is my little Easter design. Easter Bunny, colored eggs, jelly beans, stolen from Becca with her multicolor, and marshmallow peeps. And I did have to look up 
the correct spelling of marshmallow, just to make sure. So this one I ended up adding a little peep because <clears throat> there was all this blank space. I could have just done peeps, but then there would have been blank space on the other side. So I did the long one and then I put a little peep and a couple little jelly beans, which when I was doing it on the computer, I had to message my sister and be like, do those look like jelly beans? Or do they look like bunny droppings? So this is how I stitched mine. Um, it's an 18 count scrap of Ariel from Picture This Plus. I know I used Purple Aster, which I think is a classic color works. Um, but again, you can do whatever you want. Are you a blue peep person? Are you a pink peep person? <laughs> do whatever you want. <clears throat> All the words could be different colors. <clears throat> so I'm gonna finalize this little chart. Um, while this is uploading and my husband has lunch and I have the computer, I will put in there what I used for colors, but pick your own, right? Do your own thing. Um, I hope you like it. So he is done and I'm hoping to fully finish this today. You might even see it fully finished because if I get it done, I'll probably use that, take a picture of it and use it for the, like, the image that goes with this video. So there is my peeps. Um, so then we'll jump in. Like I said, I have zero fully finished. I do have a couple of FOs, finished items, that I've worked on. So one, I don't, I don't know if I had started this last time. I like to have a little small going for when we play Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. So this was the one I picked up because I have zero, I have one Valentine's piece. So I thought I'd just have it done for next year. So this was a freebie by Kathy Haberman of Hands-On Design. Um, I think it's on her blog. I can link it below. This is a scrap of gray. I don't know what it is. Uh, I know I used Weeks Dye Works Red, Red Pear. I think it's called Red Pear. It was really pretty. I had used it in another piece and then it was out and it looked good on the gray. So this one is done. Uh, it will probably get set aside to be finished next year. Next year I will double my Valentine's things. <laughs> so then um, I was working on Cardinal Points, but I pulled out this piece from Bent Creek. This is called Bluebird Sampler and I just kind of got hooked on it and I worked on it until it was done. So it kind of took up the majority of my stitching time the last two weeks. So this is the older, oh, I still have my needle minder on there. This is the older version. The reprints um, are like the smaller, like the half page size, um, but it is still available. I've just had this one for a long time and not done it. Why haven't I done it? Because this one calls for specialty stitches in between each row. And sometimes specialty stitches on Ada are very difficult. Now, I just want to show you, so the chart on mine, the chart's on one side, they have super, super clear directions for doing those specialty stitches. So when I bought that 25 count Lugana to kind of try for some one over one things, I thought, well, that'll be perfect for doing these specialty stitches. So here it is. And I did change the colors. So that is what I have. Now, because I used a 25 count, it's a little big. <laughs> so I have to come up with a way to finish this. I think I have an idea. Um, it doesn't quite fit in an eight by 10 frame. I think on a 14 count or a 28, it would have. So the specialty stitches, the first row is, is the chevron stitch. Then it was a rice stitch, um, long arm cross, and then an open herringbone. Now having done these, I totally think I could do them on Eden. So I'm gonna have to look at them and if there's any, if there's any that look like I would have to split a thread, 
um, like possibly the Chevron, I'd have to look closer. I might just do Smyrna's on the next ones because there's a summer, fall, and winter <laughs> um, in the same series. Because I added this purple and I wanted to put it somewhere else, I ended up putting little French knots in the middle of my flowers, um, but that's not called for, so you totally don't have to. Even if it was called for, you totally don't have to if you don't want to. So that was Bluebird Sampler from Bent Creek. And I'll list my colors below. I can tell you I used Weeks Dye Works Sky for the bird, um, but I'll list them all down below. So those were my two finishes that I got done in the last couple of weeks. Um, so then, what else did I work on? Cardinal Points came out. I didn't get as much love as I would have liked because I got distracted. So, Cardinal Points. I am, and it's in the Q-Snap, so you won't be able to see anything. So I have like this, this little crowny thing. I have this, skipped this. Down here, I got to the bottom. And now I'm working on these flowers. So, I'm getting there. It's, it's just a long piece, right? So there we are. So this green is the bottom, and then another one of those dragonflies goes in here, and then my name and stuff will go here. I'm doing mine on a 20, uh, 18 count antique white with two strands. It calls for one strand, but I really like my color dense. So I decided to use two strands. It will just use a little more floss. Um, because of that, I did use just straight black instead of the fancy floss. Um, and one of these rows, either the light green or the dark green, or both, I might be using both. Um, my strand isn't very variegated, so I'm just doing, like I do, I do a bunch down like half cross and then I'll go and cross them and then just if I get to the end keep going like the other way to just I'm doing them one stitch not one stitch at a time is what I'm trying poorly to say so that one will stay out and hopefully just get a little more love even if I just get a couple leaves done a week um, that would be good so then I was on Instagram and I'm trying to be good this year about finishing things and we all know how that goes. And I saw an Instagram story um, about a design company I'd never heard of called Pix Stitch and it's a lot of video game the stitching, which if you've been with me for a while, you know my husband's a gamer, my son's a gamer. We have a nerd wall with gaming stitches on it and a few of my things. So there's some Harry Potter and some Princess Bride up there for now until I get all their game stuff on and then my stuff's going to have to move. <laughs> um, so one of their favorite games is an old one called Chrono Trigger. And this picture I saw was a, I've been looking for a Chrono Trigger cross stitch. I've told John he might have to design one, but he hasn't gotten around to it. So they did one. I'll show you. Um, it's not out quite yet. So they designed one and then they put it out to be test stitched. Um, it's perfect. It's like exactly what I'm looking for. It is huge and it is going to take some time. <laughs> um, so that's it. It's a game that takes, it's got some time travel in it. If you don't play the game, it won't mean anything to you. But regardless, I saw that and I'm like, I'm gonna have to stitch that. When it comes out, I'm gonna have to stitch that. It's huge, it has 127 colors, I believe. <laughs> so that'll be an adventure. But I thought, because I'm gonna wanna stitch that, let me pull out, I had a piece going in my whips. Um, I started it last year and it was so pitiful of a start that when I showed it in my whip parade, I didn't know even which direction it went in. So these are Final Fantasy characters from, she changed the name of her shop, uh, the Cross Stitch Lair, I believe, which I'll link below. I'll look it up and link below. So I had one started. I'm doing three of them on this same scrap 
not a scrap, the same piece of fabric. So I finished the one I had started, and I finished, started and finished a second. So this is Aerith and Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. Um, so these are pixely, so there's a lot of color changes because there's, they're pixel art. So they are done, and then I'm doing another, a long, it's a, it's red, he's like a tiger creature, he's an animal. So he's kind of like laying down a little bit, like crouched, so he'll go on the front. So they are done, and then I need to do red, but... Uh, that was, I knew, I remembered when I did these last year. I did two of them last year. They didn't take very long when I actually did them. The other reason I want to get that out is because when I was on that website, um, Pix Stitch on their Instagram, they have a sale that just started yesterday. And I was trying really hard not to add a lot of sales in this year, but I joined anyway. <laughs> So it's called the Pixels That Made Us. Um, so I don't have like a picture picture, so it's hard to explain. So it's a mystery cell. Whoops. Uh, it popped on me. Okay. So you see here where it says gamer. That's what the stitch will look like. And then the, where it's black is made up of little parts of different video games. It will make sense as I go along. <laughs> um, so each letter they're putting out on Mondays and it will take be four weeks for each letter. They're breaking it down into four sections. So that started yesterday. I started it last night. This one also has a ton of colors. So this is what I have. So this is the edge of one of the, of the G. So you, I don't know if you can tell any of what this is. Um, this is from Earthbound, the game. That's Ness. There's an Excite Bike helmet in, he helmet in here. There's a baseball player. This will be Batman. <laughs> uh, and then up around the top will be like Mario and Zelda and some of the ones that I actually know who they are. Because though it says gamer, I am not a gamer. <laughs> so. I won't know. And each letter also will be a different game system. So the first one is the original Nintendo, and then I don't know what the others will be. Regardless of what they are, I won't have played them. So, so I started that one. That one was on a 16 count alchemy. And it's, it's long. It's like five inches, and it will end up being, I think, 22. So... I couldn't do it on a, I would have liked to have done it on a 14 just to give me a little more room because it's like full coverage in those little sections. Um, but then it wouldn't have fit on a fat quarter. And I don't have anything bigger than a fat quarter. So I'll make do. Uh, I'll link them below too. It's also a charity, I should mention. It's a charity stitch along. Um, so you make a donation to get the charts and it goes to a charity. So I'll link that. That's all my stitching. <laughs> um, itchy, itchy. The wind, the weather changes. Now I have an adoption. <laughs> this was my oldest whip, my pitiful, languishing oldest whip. I've shown it in whip parades since I first started doing whip parades because it has yet to be finished. I'm talking about John Stocking. This is a dimensions kit. I started this seven years ago. It came up on, I have time hop on my phone and it came up and it was seven years ago. Um, it's not gonna get finished. After I did my whip parade this year, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna pull that out, put it in a Q-snap and every day I'll just, or every week I'll just do a little bit and maybe I'll be able to surprise him at Christmas. Nope, not happening. I hate working on it. I just don't enjoy it. So, and he doesn't care. <laughs> um, we have stockings. 
at this point, I'd be finishing it just for me. Because in reality, he'd rather have the gamer ones than the stocking. So, this is where I'm at. I got quite a bit done, but there's a whole bunch to go. So that's Rudolph's head, there's the whole bike, um, and then the whole top where the name is. I'm sure you could change it, but that's all stitched. Not happening. I worked on this little area, and I'm like, hmm, why am I doing this? I don't know. Nope. So this is up for adoption. I am going to say US only because it's all the stuff, and so it will be a package in the Postal Service right now. It might be Christmas before you get it. So if you would like to adopt John's stocking to make someone else's stocking, um, it's on a 14 count uber stiff light blue Ada. Oh, that's the other thing. That's all white. Keep that in mind. It's a kit, so it has the chart, um, some felty stuff for the back, flosses, some, some flosses I have on here, right? They're all labeled. If you'd like to adopt on stocking, <laughs> um, use the word adopt, or just say adopt. I'd like to adopt the stocking. I will use adopt as the keyword that I go for. And let me tell you, it was liberating to take that out of my wood pile and be like, it's not happening. I will stitch you 127 color chrono trigger things, but I don't want to stitch this anymore. <laughs> so there's that, my adoption. I meant to tell you guys that last video and I left it upstairs. Giveaways, much funner than adoptions. Uh, last week, last video, we had two charts from Carla at Cobweb Corner. So the first was Hello Spring, which everyone is looking forward to. And actually today might be the first, is today the first day of meteorological spring? I don't know. I need to get my spring stuff out. I'm tired of looking at my winter stuff, but it hasn't happened yet. So spring goes to Marsha Laycock. And I've commented on your comments, so get back to me and then colorful cats sunflower goes to Sandra Moore um, and I commented on both your comments right before I came down to do this um, with my email address so get back to me and I'll get these in the mail and then for this video um, we kept with Carla always asked me you know I get to pick what you guys um, get for giveaways so I went with my spring theme again because everyone seems to be in the mood for spring stitching and looking forward to spring. So this is spring, Seasons Spring from Lila's Studio. There's a whole series of these that Carla does have all of them, um, but this is the spring. So again, we'll just say spring. I'd like to stitch spring, spring in your comment. And then the other one, these are, reprints or reissues they're new from bent creek i love me some bent creek this is chick on an egg <laughs> so there was a series of these they used to be sold as one of their little kits with the fabric and the floss um but they've just released them just the chart you guys know how much i love just the chart so there's chick on an egg there's a turkey there's I think a robin no a cardinal and then on their website there are two freebie ones there's a cardinal uh, a robin and a Halloween one that's an owl so if you'd like this one say I would like to stitch the egg um, when Carla sends stuff for you she sends a couple charts for me as well she sent I asked for I asked for an egg and I'd like to get this stitch before Easter this might honestly be my last second to last spring piece that I get done. And then I also, I got Snow Queen. Will I ever stitch Snow Queen? I don't know. <laughs> but of all the mirrors, 
I, there's something about this one I just keep coming back to, and I thought, you know what? Sometimes mirrors do go out of print. I'm just gonna hold on to that. Future Helen might thank me. Or future Helen might be like, are you crazy? We're not stitching that. So, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, regular giveaway rules, be over 18 so you can legally give me your address, be a subscriber. Um, charts, those charts are any, anywhere. It doesn't have to be just US. And don't say giveaway. Um, so thank you, Carla. She's always so sweet about giveaways for you guys. Cats. She's been posting a lot of videos I noticed on her floss tube of highlighting some of the designers that are getting ready for Needlework Expo this weekend. Um, if you want to check those out. I've been trying really good to just make a mental list of Expo charts and telling myself they'll still be there. They're not going anywhere. They'll still be there. You don't need them all. <laughs> Stitch what you have. Um, that, was, that was my haul, by the way. I don't have anything else. Plans. Um, I need to do the March Zodiac sign for the Tiny Modernist um, Zodiac cell. I need to work on those pixels. That comes out every Monday. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up, but I'll make a good attempt. I'd like to do the little egg that I just showed. Then I have two new starts planned. When I showed last video the um, shamrock row, Carrie of Carrie and Stitches said, oh, I'm gonna be doing the, the gnome row. And I said, ooh, the gnomes are my next ones. That's the next one I wanna do. Because I have the Easter row, but then when Easter's over, I'm not ready to put up summer yet. So I thought this one would be perfect. So she said, well, let's sell it. And I said, okay. So this is gnomes in the garden row. Yoink. Uh, so we're starting this on March 20th. If you have it and you want to join us, we didn't talk about a hashtag or anything, but we're, we're starting the gnomes in the garden. So I need to go through and pull colors and see if I want to brighten any of these up. And fabric, honestly, haven't done any of it. So that is a start. And then my sister, her birthday's in March and she is going to start um, Bent Creek's Meow Block Party. Um, and I didn't bring it down because it's in the other room because that one is kitted up and ready to go. And I said, oh, I'll start it with you. I have it um, from market two years ago. Again, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> and I love the two cubes that Kathy put out this year, but I've never done one of her cubes. <laughs> so I will be starting that on the 15th with her. Um, I already had all the called for colors from when I had kitted it up two years ago. So um, I think I'm settled on a piece of fabric, but I need to look again. There's some white on it, like there's fish bones and stuff, so I really wanna make sure that you can see them. So that's that, and then hopefully I can keep it to just those for new starts because I really need to finish some things up. That is all. Um, I can't think of anything else really to tell you. Like I said, I'm hoping to do some finishing today after I get things put away and start the upload um, get the spring stuff out. That is all. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. Have fun shopping the expo things or making your wish list like I will be doing. And I will talk to you guys again in a couple weeks. I'll put the link to the Easter piece down below. Um, tag me if you stitch it. I'd love to see it because it's fills my little heart with joy. <laughs> um, all right, bye.